are on the road. Just about in Bracebridge. How you doing, Eric? Pretty good. I gotta pee. <laughs> How about you, Daniel? Gotta pee. Is it, is it everybody that's gotta pee? All right, Bracebridge. Bracebridge. Stopped at the uh, old station there. Had ourselves some dinner. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Daniel, did we have? Did you have a nice dinner? Oh yeah, I, did. I sure did, man. Got about two hours and twenty-five minutes or something like that to the destination. destination. Yeah, and we missed the coyote on the way in. Yeah. Bad film director, John didn't get the coyote. Well, it wasn't his natural habitat, so it's excusable. There you we'll go. See him on the way oh, down. Anyway, Bracebridge is a really cool town. I've never really been downtown before, and I think it's awesome. I like it a lot. A lot of cool little restaurants and a big time outdoor adventure vibe to it. very early in the morning. Probably too dark to catch much in here, yeah. Hey, here we go. Got in here, man. Good morning, Daniel. How you feeling? A little bit nippy. <laughs> we nippy. It's a little cold, eh? Dave, it's a little cold, eh? How was the loo? Not bad, though. It's all right. It's all right. Just getting the boats ready. Um, fairly calm conditions so far. Well, we're out here, paddling away. Got about a two hour paddle on this lake. And then a few portages before we're home for the next three nights. On Donkey Lake, or Upper Donkey. Is it Upper Donkey? I hear 
to stay Rolling with the waves and we'll never get away We swam for miles at night Under the moonlight The shore's out of sight Howdy. Howdy. Listen to the ocean, girl. I need you to stay, cause it all just seems the same. Well, we're done with Don't you lose your Big Donkey. Heading into Little Donkey. I think we're already in it. And then on to another lake after that. And then it'll be the first portage. So stay tuned for that. We might have a fifth here. There's a fifth. Full point. That's closer. Oh, what is it? A bat? <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, in the sky she was ten shades of grey. They didn't like how close you were getting. You are the light of Is there? Without you, I could have never. take your rods down, guys. Really? Yeah. Forward. Okay. Okay, you ready? He's sucking us in here. The rods have to come back, eh, dude? <laughs> you ready? Oh, ready. <laughs> here we go.
I'm in almost. Oh. oh, I had a fish. I had a fish. Hey, hey, hey. All right, here we are on lake number three. Four. Lake number four. It's pretty, isn't it? It's a nice one. No, we were on baby donkey. Then we were on this mystery lake that had a tunnel just before it. And now we're on this one. We met some really nice people on the portage into this lake. And they, um, they told us that the lake that we are going to spend three nights on, they absolutely killed it. Caught about 46 fish. They showed us some pictures. One that I swear was probably seven or eight pound lake trout, eh Dave? Uh, and some nice brook trout and talked some spots with us and some techniques and lures. It was very, very nice, super Canadian swell of them to do. So, yeah. Oh, we've got another set of canoeists up here too. Must be on their way out. Oh, there's two sets. Look at that. All right, we'll check back later. Hey, okay. Destination Lake, boys. What do we have to say? That was easy, eh? Yeah. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Everyone should do that. <laughs> Where's my bear spray? Where's my bear spray? No, I didn't take it off. Does anybody know my bear spray? You had it on up here. It did? Oh, it's just twisted. I got it. You want to get water, Dave? Or There we go. Paddling in here. Some beautiful views here of our new home for three days. Hopefully, the wind calms down tonight so we can fish. But it is really 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 nice lake it's very big with the trees all around it and the high cliff sides over there pretty awesome pretty awesome right Dave there we go camp camp here comes camp you see wood Anywhere nice. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. 
drink mixes and condiments. Hey guys, how's everybody feeling now? Pretty good now. Yeah, turn in the corner. Right. Better now? Yeah, better now. I'm not sure about tomorrow, but we'll So, see. quick look at dinner. We're gonna be doing steaks. We're gonna be doing asparagus. And then some mashed potatoes, which I started boiling the water for. On the fire. So fire. Daniel's having a nap in the tent back there. We've got our chairs set up. Yeah. Didn't get to fish because it's a bit windy and we are totally exhausted. But tomorrow, tomorrow the fish, the fish start to, start to uh, be caught. And uh, hopefully we'll do a fish dinner and we'll do some videos with fish being caught. Should be excellent. Yeah. Some water filter in here. Um, who's cut me oh, Daniel's. I think it's Daniel's. Yeah, so let's do a tour oh, of the site. Yeah, that's a good idea. So that's Dave and I's tent there. Is Daniel sleeping? No, I'm not sleeping. Okay, well, dinner's starting. Oh. So you, you don't have much time. A little bit of time, but not much. And that sort of concludes the camp tour. It's a good sight. We like it. It's windy. Everything's windy right now. Wish that would die down. It's kind of keeping the bugs off a bit because, well, mosquitoes are out. Black flies look like they're all sort of those immature ones that don't bite yet. But, uh, oh, rough. But, uh, yeah. We'll check in. Maybe later or maybe tomorrow. Hopefully with fish, because like that's what needs to happen. Right, Dave? That's what we came here for. That's what we came here for. All right. Well, supper time. Daniel, what are you having? Having a filet mignon with yep. uh, a side of um, spiced asparagus. Yep. And dark mashed potatoes. Oh, wow. That's magnificent. Delicious, man. Is it good? Good? Sure looks good. All right, time to eat. Hundred percent. All right. Well, good morning. And what a different morning it is. Just absolutely beautiful place and the lake is like glass you can actually just watch fish rise uh, we want to get out there and take advantage of the fact that there is no chop no wind nothing We all got a much better sleep, I believe. Isn't that right, Dave? Yeah, I think so. Much better yeah. sleep. Fish is stupid. 
Isn't that, isn't that awesome? Eric's getting the stick stove ready so that we can quickly have some caffeinated beverages and something to eat very quickly and then get in the canoes and go and hopefully bring you all some fishing action. The site's pretty cool, but it's definitely on a bit of a slant and it made uh, sitting around the fire challenging with the chairs. All right, we'll check back and see uh, you with some fish, hopefully. Well, we're out fishing. Still calm as glass out here. And uh, we'll see what we get. Yeah, tomorrow we can have breakfast and get back. Yeah, agreed. What are you trolling? Okay. Hey, dude. Yeah, yeah. Is there a brook trout? Brook trout on the boat. Brook trout on the boat. I think he's about 13 inches, eh? Mm -hmm. Didn't want to exaggerate. Just at the campsite, stop for a pee break. Going to try further down the lake. Of, uh, my, uh, of the map talked to some guys on the portage yesterday and uh, he actually pointed to where the fish species were being acknowledged on the map and said yeah that's a good spot so it's pretty close to the campsite so we're gonna go there and see if it's true he also said follow the loons which is always good advice so we'll see just wanted to capture that that is stunning just a stunning place You got a stringer full or what? Uh, yeah. Yep, one in the boat. One in the boat too. That's when I turned the corner. Look at that. Boom. Yeah, this one too. Oh, all right. Beautiful guys. Nice. Just stopping at a campsite to clean fish. towards an island where Dave and I had some luck this morning and uh, it sounds probably pretty windy I don't know how well it's being muffled but um, yeah we're gonna try again as the Sun is lower in the sky and it's evening and just before dinner and we'll see if we have any luck <laughs>
morning of day two? Is it day two? Day three. Morning of day three. There's a rock pile. See if there's gonna be any fish that bite. These guys over here. Yeah. What are you guys using for bait? Gonna try though, jig. Dave got a brook trout here, like had it on, <laughs> on a jig. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh it got off. Get a shot of how unbelievably calm the lake is this morning. Can obviously see it's just absolutely still like glass. We are enjoying ourselves, aren't we, Dave? Sure are. <laughs> But some fish would be good too. It's fish. I don't know what kind of fish. It's like a lake trout. Like her? Yep, I think. This is in the net. <laughs> right here. This is Specky Trout. You have your black yeah. amadou. <laughs> well, better than nothing. He's a good trout. He's a good uh, one for the pan. Let's get another one. Yeah, See how it was like ding, 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 ding? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they did better than us, Dave. What do you think about that? It's fine, I guess. Got the one brook trout, and they did better. Let's see what they got. So we are eating fish again. It's a good thing. It's a good thing we're eating fish, Daniel. You're gonna have a picture of the fish. Fish fry. Fish fry. Fish fry. Fish fry. Keep going away. Old B. 
all day. Daniel, where are we going? Where are we going? Going for an evening fish. Mm -hmm. uh, we just had a lovely dinner. And what do we now have? We had extra cheesy bean burritos. Right on. That was uh, immaculate. Very right. cool. We all had two, so less weight in the barrel. Very good. Yeah. And uh, Dave hasn't caught a fish yet. Dave hasn't had right. one. But uh, he's going to, right? Going out in a minute. And, uh, Pretty sure he's gonna get one. Right on. Good luck to Dave. All right, let's go. You ready, Eric? 100%. All right. I'm still in the lead, right? Still in the lead. Please. And and I'd Biggest say finger. in the lead with an exclamation point because you had two really good sized fish, so. Mm. Yeah. So Dave, you have to go destroy, two, make two it a brook trees. trout, because if make it a brook trout bigger than two what he's caught, it would be killing two birds with one stone. The biggest fish on this trip, and the biggest brook trout you've ever caught. Sure, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Sounds easy, right? Why didn't you tell me that's what I was supposed to do? Oh, that's <laughs> what I was doing. All right, let's 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 see what happens. Oh, that's a good one, Dave. Bring him up. Oh, you're nowhere near me now. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> On the board! <laughs> All right. Well, Davey's finally on the board and it didn't take very long. You gonna let that go? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's a good size Laker. Get a phone, get your phone out. Yeah. 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 Photo. Oh, buddy. There, he's off. You might just want to worry about him right now and then. There we go. On the board. Perfect, Dave. Take it easy. Don't force it. We got time. <laughs> there. There you go. Another phone one for me. Oh, nice. You bet. Well, Dave's second fish in probably 20 minutes. Good. Yeah, I think so. Very good. Give me the picture. Yeah, I got you the picture. <laughs> There you go. All right, good stuff. Well, 
We're headed back to camp now with two lake trout we managed to get into the boat and um, that's okay if that's all that happens that's great we're just trolling our way back and it looks like it's going to be a nice sunset tomorrow four not so nice portages but one really really pretty lake with only one campsite on the whole lake and it's ours for tomorrow night so yeah we're really excited Good morning everyone. Morning of day four and we are headed to a new lake tonight after we get through a whole bunch of portages. Probably about 2.6 kilometers worth of portages. Four different portages. So we'll see how that goes. It's supposed to be a nice day. So see you uh, during the fun um headed out and uh it's been a wonderful few days lots of fish lots of good times now we're headed to a small lake interior lake and uh a lot of portages to get there but it's uh we've got but we've got a tailwind so we're just kind of cruising you can see i don't know how you never the waves never really show very well but <laughs> oh yeah, that's it, all right. There it is. Portage. We're coming up on the first portage of the day. It just gets real shallow. There's a log here. Come on, come on. Oh boy. <laughs> So, first portage completed, and we are on to a little lake before a long portage. And then we're going to stop for lunch. Yeah. Weird looking plants. Looks like Snag City. Oh really? Yeah, I think it's getting deeper, Dave. Right? Yeah. You think it's worth throwing a line in or no? Here we are. Coming up to the end of this little guy, this little lake, and we're going into the 
1235 meter portage is coming up to the takeout. Now that's small. Decent. Oh, I'm letting him go. Darn. It's me. Oh, you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's about the same size. Mm -hmm. Look at this little beach. Perfect for you there, Dave. All right. We are finally at our destination and it was lots of fun getting here wasn't it Dave? Oh yeah. Didn't we have lots of fun? I'll, I'll uh, look back on it with memories. Memories? Sweet memories. I'm glad it's behind us. Yeah. Well, hopefully there's some good night fishing because that's all we're going to get. Not a very big lake, you can tell. But it's very pretty. We are here, this beautiful little lake, we finally have camp set up and I wanted to show the campsite off. So let's have a look, shall we? The boys are enjoying a Caesar, some clothes drying, water is set up. Daniel. Good day, sir. How was today? It was uh, it was hard work, yeah. but exhilarating, but fun. Conditions were great. What do you Pretty think, Eric? It was easy. Yeah. yeah it was Just easy. a cakewalk, eh? Yeah, we were fine. Yeah, no we were big, fine. No big deal. Dave, I wish you... the food barrel was a little uh, lighter. You gotta eat more. You have to work on that today. What do you think, Dave? I think we should do it again tomorrow. <laughs> I think we have no choice. It was a good little fire pit with a pretty hardcore grill. There's these benches. 
Everybody loves the benches because our site on the big lake was basically just slanting straight into the lake. Over here, and our tent is over here. Dave and I back, back there, Thunderbox in the back. Awesome sight, just a beauty day. About six, seventeen degrees. Yep. Send beer. <laughs> well. Fishing for about an hour now. Nothing going on. Daniel had one. I got off. A couple bites. Whoa. I'm touching a rock with my paddle. That's how shallow this is right here. <laughs> We're going to paddle over the other side of the lake. Try that shoreline and a little bay over there. And see what we can see. But uh, it'll be a nice sunset. And we're the only ones on the lake. Have it all to ourselves. Which is very cool. Right, Dave? Very cool. Finished the portage into this pond. She's gonna lead us out to the big lake. Big donkey. <sighs> Got our boat here. The gear's there. It was a mountainous nightmare. Uh, a nightmare that the other three are still living. But they're gonna be coming down the trail any minute. We can load the boats. Well, we can take a break and load the boats. Tons of rocks, tons of sucky muck. And uh, glad it's over. Just one more 1.6 kilometer portage left. And uh, the trip is done. That's the short portage of the day. That's the short one. Just a dawdle. Wave, you're done. Woo! Yay. Wait. Hopefully that was the worst part. You're done? No, you're done this one. Now you get to paddle, which is fun. Paddling. There you go. Paddling is fun. Fishing is fun. Fishing is fun. All right, paddle in that pond, headed towards our very last and longest portage of the entire trip. Yeah. Think, boys. Beauty. Beauty.
Back on the big lake, headed home, a little bit of a chop. And we gotta pay attention. But we're paddling again. I'm glad to be done that monster portage. Might be a little bit of a tailwind in the end, eh? Trip, amazing weather we've had absolutely perfect weather better than you could ever realistically ask for in the spring this early in May so, yeah. great amount of fish were caught great size fish were caught it was uh, just an excellent trip nobody got hurt had wonderful campfires tiny little bit of rain the one night and that storm like psyched us out like it was gonna come and whack us and it just went by after a little bit of drizzle and high winds and then uh, yeah just beautiful beautiful little lakes paddling through them on calm sunny warm days just unbelievable and fish everywhere we went so good so good so good. Just wanted to show it. I know it never comes off on camera very well, but this is really wavy. We're in the home stretch here, but we've had some water splashing up. Now well, we're here. We made it. Just about to take out and get in the truck. Sunnier than when we left. Hey, look at that piece of tree. I know, I was just telling Daniel that. They cut that thing down and rolled it down the hill. Oh, it's right here. Dave's <laughs> the only one that has beer. He's got well, three beers. Now he's got two. Daniel, what'd you learn? Four hundred fifty million years ago. Oh, so like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. It's hard to get your head around that. Uh, it's just like it's a. So then it was three kilometers wide and six hundred meters deep. Really, two two hundred fifty million tons of dynamite. The funny thing is, is that six six hundred meters is very like, like I understand how deep that is now. <laughs> like it's really it's, it's really like at the forefront of my mind. <laughs> my knees really hurt. <coughs> Is this a, a good break point? Yeah. It's a good break point. Oh, you are here. <sighs> Holy, can you ever see it? Perfect circle 